Hey guys, in this video I'll be discussing viral diseases, HIV, preventing HIV, tobacco mosaic virus, preventing tobacco mosaic virus, measles, and finally a summary. Viral diseases are actually communicable diseases. This means they can be spread between animals and plants. Viral diseases occur when a viral pathogen enters your body and causes harm. Viruses are actually not living cells. They simply use the machinery of host cells to replicate themselves. This causes damage to the host cells in the process, and this causes disease. In this video, we were looking at the different types of viruses and the diseases they cause. For example, HIV. In this case, both the virus and the infection are referred to as HIV. Viral diseases can actually affect both animals and plants. Plant disease may have a negative effect on farmers' profits. In this video, we will be looking at different examples of viral diseases. Some examples of viral diseases include HIV, measles, tobacco mosaic virus, also known as TMV, as well as Ebola. HIV is a viral disease that affects a huge number of people. In 2015, globally, an estimated 36.7 million people were living with HIV. But what is HIV? Well, it's also called human immunodeficiency virus, and it's a viral disease, and it's also an example of a sexually transmitted disease, or STD. STDs can also be known as sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. So this is what HIV looks like. But how does HIV cause disease? Well, the virus first gets into and reproduces inside host cells. The virus uses a cell's own machinery to replicate. This replication causes damage to the cells, causing disease. Specifically, what HIV does is that it attacks white blood cells. These are a key part of the body's immune system. They fight against pathogens that cause disease. As HIV attacks white blood cells, they're no longer able to function correctly. This means that they are less able to fight off disease, causing someone to become ill. The symptoms of HIV are initially flu-like, though some people may not experience any symptoms for several years. However, if the disease isn't controlled with antiretroviral drugs, which stop the virus replicating and cause disease, the body's immune system gets badly damaged. This is why it's really important to treat people with HIV with antiretroviral drugs, otherwise they could become very ill. When the immune system can no longer fight the disease, we call it Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome, or AIDS. We also call it Late-Stage HIV Infection. If someone has AIDS, they may not be able to fight simple infections or cancers, this could be fatal. Luckily, there are some ways of preventing HIV. As HIV is spread through bodily fluids, for example during sexual contact or when needles are shared, by avoiding sharing needles and using barrier methods such as condoms during sexual intercourse, this might help prevent someone from getting HIV. As I said before, viruses can also infect plants. This means plants can also have viral diseases. One example of a plant viral disease is tobacco mosaic virus. Tobacco mosaic virus, also known as TMV, is a virus which affects many plants, including tomatoes. And this is TMV. It was discovered in 1930. So what does TMV do? Well, it causes a mosaic pattern on the leaves. This means that the plant can't photosynthesize as well. So you can see here that this leaf is discoloured. This is because the virus CMV stops chloroplasts from forming. As a result of the chloroplast not forming, the plant's growth is stunted. This is because without chloroplasts, the plant can't photosynthesize very well. Although it doesn't kill the crop, it might cause the quality or the quantity of the crop to go down. This causes economic damage to farmers. Tobacco mosaic virus, or TMV, can result in a huge loss of profit. This means that people try to prevent the spread of tobacco mosaic virus. And there are several ways people can do this. One way includes removing the infected plants and leaves. This stops the virus from spreading to other plants. Another way to stop spread 
is by sterilizing planting equipment. This kills the viruses. Another way of stopping the spread is by planting crops which are resistant to TMV around areas which are infected. This is because the resistant plants block the spread of the virus to the non-resistant plants. Measles is an example of a highly infectious viral illness. Anyone can get measles, but it's most common in younger children. Someone with measles usually has a fever and a red skin rash. This boy here is suffering the symptoms of measles. So how is measles spread? Well, it's spread when someone inhales droplets in the air produced by coughing and sneezing. This is similar to how tuberculosis is spread, but that is a bacterial infection. So these infective droplets go into the nose and mouth of uninfected people, causing them to be infected. Unfortunately, measles may lead to serious complications, so therefore it might be fatal. This is because it can lead to other diseases. However, luckily there's a vaccination for measles. Normally, babies are vaccinated with the MMR vaccine. This prevents against three diseases, measles, mumps and rubella. The widespread use of the vaccine is why measles is now uncommon in the UK. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you're looking for an amazing GCC biology and combined science resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap revised smiley face and together let's make biology at GCSE a walk in the park.